There are demonstrations happening as we speak in the city, and they're happening because a man is dead. George Floyd is dead. He's dead because he was black. He was killed because he was black. It's as simple as that. It's as horrible as that. It's as painful as that. And it's as unacceptable as that. And there are people right now all over this city, all over this country, expressing that pain, that anger, that someone was killed simply because of the color of their skin in 2020 in the United States of America. And we cannot in any way pretend that this is anything less than an indictment of the kind of racism that still exists all over this country that is so painfully alive and well in so many of our institutions that we have to find a way to stop because it will corrode this nation, this society, this city if we don't overcome the racism surrounding us at all times. This man was killed in broad daylight. The officer involved seemed to show no emotion whatsoever that he was taking a man's life. And imagine what that says to people. Imagine how much anger that creates. It would create deep, passionate pain if it was the only time it ever happened, but it's happened time and time and time again. And people are asking, when will it ever stop? That's why there are so many people protesting. I have to acknowledge when I was a young man growing up, I never had to for one minute wonder if a police officer would stop me and treat me negatively because of who I was. Never even crossed my mind. And I think for all of us who happen to be white, the vast majority of us, we just haven't experienced it. We haven't walked a mile in the shoes of our brothers and sisters who are people of color who have dealt with this pain so often. So what we are seeing coming out in this city and all over the country right now is that pain that anger from what people have grown up with and never for a moment been able to get away from. That sense that at any given moment they might be singled out simply because of who they were and that the results could even be deadly. That, that is what people are grappling with every minute of every day. I need those of you out there who are listening and watching and share the same skin color with me we're all trying to understand. I'm asking you to understand more deeply. Think of every minute of your life if you had to wonder if what happened to George Floyd would happen to you or your children. So when I see this pain, I can only try my best to understand it. Now, to all the people who are protesting, please, even if you're expressing that pain, that anger, that sense that something's wrong and must be fixed, please remember how important it is to protest peacefully. Remember, the only way we're going to make things right is by somehow finding a way to work together. Please remember that we're in the middle of a pandemic. We have to do all we can to protect each other. Everyone out there has a responsibility. Even though I think, I think I understand some piece of the anger you're feeling, I'm still beseeching you. We are still all in this together, and you must protest peacefully and be mindful of what it means for everyone around you. Now, our police officers have been given a very clear instruction, as always, respect peaceful protest. We in this city have a long history of respecting every kind of viewpoint. That is the essence of New York City. The NYPD protects and respects peaceful protests, and the NYPD will also make clear what the ground rules are and ask all protesters to recognize those ground rules and respect them. Commissioner Shea will speak to that more. But I'm going to also offer this thought to all those who protest. If you are angry with the government, if you're angry with the elected leaders, direct that anger to all of us 
because if we haven't done enough, then we, we are the ones who should be held responsible. But the police officer in front of you is a working man or woman just trying to do their job. They did not create the policies. They did not create the pain. They did not create the contradictions of our society that we need to resolve. Take your anger out on those who hold the power, wherever it may reside. But please try your best to understand that the working man and woman in front of you is your fellow human being just trying to keep the peace. With that, I turn to Commissioner Shea. So I think the, the key point here with this evening's protests, um, on the heels of yesterday's protests where we had um, a number of arrests made, unfortunately, and a number of officers that were suffered injuries. Um, the NYPD is out here in force tonight. Um, we will have thousands of officers deployed throughout New York City uh, to cover the normal events that take place on a Friday night in New York City, as well as the uh, two protests.